my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a new pick a card reading and this one is all about what you're currently manifesting. So if you're curious what you're currently attracting into your life and what is being created, this is the video where we're going to reveal exactly what it is that you are currently calling into your life and what you are manifesting. And this will help you see whether or not you're on track with manifesting the things that you desire and the things that you want. So you're going to look at these five different groups that we have. We have group number one, two, three, four and five and you can take a moment pause the video if you need to in order to find the pile that you are the most drawn towards and then there's going to be timestamps linked down below that are associated with your group so you can skip right ahead to your personal prediction all about what you're currently manifesting. If you're having a hard time choosing a group, another little trick that I like to do to tap into my intuition is to close my eyes and the first number that pops into my head between one and five, that'll be the number that you go with. And you go with the first number, whatever pops into your head first, that is your intuition speaking to you and that would be your group. But if you can choose visually, if there's a pile that is just calling out to you um, that you feel drawn towards, that's also going to be your group. If you find yourself drawn to multiple groups, that is also totally okay. That just means you are resonating with multiple different messages and there's probably gonna be messages in both of those groups for you. So I highly recommend checking out both of those if there is multiple groups that you're drawn towards. If there's just one, then that's perfect as well. Then you're gonna go and use that timestamp to skip ahead to your reading. And some of you guys are also always curious what type of crystals we have on the cards. So if you like to know what the crystals are, over here on group number one, this is actually a piece of copper. Then over on group number two, this crystal is Sunset Aura Quartz. Group number three, we have some super seven, which is basically amethyst with, um, there's like seven different minerals in here basically, but it's a type of amethyst kind of. And then over here on group four, we have some chrysophras. This was actually Alexander the, Great, the Great's um, favorite stone. And he thought that whenever he wore this stone that he would conquer a lot of lands basically and he attributed it to that stone um, and then group number five we have some Lemurian quartz so those are our group options those are the different crystals that we have in today's video so again you can take a moment pause the video if you need to to find the pile that you are the most drawn towards and then there's going to be timestamps linked down below so that you can skip right ahead to your personal prediction so with that being said let's go ahead and find out what you're currently manifesting all right my loves group number one if you chose this pile this is going to be your reading so let's go ahead and hop right into it all right, my loves, group number one, let's see what we have here. So um, we have three major arcanas here. This is from a, di a, a deck. <laughs> Whew. This is early in the morning. Okay, this is from a deck that only has major arcana cards. We have Strength, the Fool, and Judgment here. And then from our other regular tarot cards, we have the Ten of Swords upright, the Nine of Pentacles being reversed. We have Shadow Wisdom, which is the High Priestess being reversed. And we have the Nine of Wands upright. So this is really interesting. We have double nines here, and nines indicate that you're currently closing out a chapter of your life. And this chapter is one where you feel like you could be so much more, but it's almost like maybe it's been a struggle to step into that moreness lately, um, or at least in the current chapter that you're in, maybe it's been a struggle to step into that worthiness, to step into that more abundant state. I feel like you've been trying to attract more abundance in your life and more freedom and more ease. The fact that we have the 10 of swords and the 10 of swords upright and the nine of pentacles being reversed, it's almost like you feel defeated when it comes to gaining more in your life. Maybe you've tried to gain more. Maybe you've tried to create more financial freedom for yourself and create a better financial state, but it almost just feels like it's been really hard for you to accomplish that for whatever reason. And maybe you feel as if you've run out of ideas or maybe you just don't see the way how that's gonna happen and how you're gonna create that. But spirit has so many messages for you right now, my love. So the fact that we have the strength, the fool and judgment here, 
you are currently manifesting the strength to start over, to begin again, to release the judgments of your past and to release the hindrances of your past. It's like you need to shed that skin. Oh, spirit's actually giving me such a beautiful image right now of being rebirthed. And it's almost like you were in this old version of yourself and you're literally about to unzip and take off that old suit basically like you're taking off that old suit that represented the old you that maybe struggled with creating abundance or creating more self-worth or creating more freedom and independence maybe you've struggled with that or maybe things have just been a little bit lopsided for you lately when it comes to your finances or when it comes to the abundance that you want to create for yourself and you're going to start seeing yourself in a new way. You're really manifesting a brand new beginning for yourself and a brand new cycle where totally different circumstances are happening. And spirit just really wants you to know through this nine of wands and this strength card, you are literally manifesting a new, more powerful, strong version of yourself. And I'm also getting this image of like your muscles, your energetic muscles, growing so big that they're just popping out of your old skin like that's what that's what spirit's so showing me because right now it might feel like you almost feel like giving up on certain things that's uh, that's something that i'm hearing it might feel like you currently feel like giving up on yourself or certain dreams that you've had maybe you've even maybe a certain career that you have you've been feeling like giving up on it or a dream that you have it almost feels like it's costing more energy than what you're getting back but something that I'm hearing is that this is making you really strong. Um, Spirit's also showing me another example of this. You know a butterfly, right when it's in that cocoon stage and it has just become a butterfly and then it has to break out of the cocoon, a lot of butterflies actually struggle really hard to get out of that cocoon. It's very difficult for them and some of them, you know, struggle so much for days at a time, but you cannot help that butterfly out of its cocoon because as soon as you help the butterfly out of the cocoon it's not strong enough to fly so the butterfly has to go through that struggle it literally has to go through that struggle and not give up because it has to get out of the cocoon but that struggle gives it the strength to fly it would never have flown otherwise and Trust me, if I was a butterfly and someone told me that you would just have to go through this like insane struggle of getting out of the cocoon, but then you can fly, I would be like, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> as long as I know that, then I'm good to go. I will struggle to get out of the cocoon no matter how long it takes <laughs> because it's so worth it. And something that spirit is showing me right now is this new phase that you are manifesting right now is very worth the struggle that it's taking to get there, basically. So your dream, the dream that you have, there might be struggles, obstacles, and different lessons that you learn along the way that might feel very difficult to get through at times, but it is strengthening you so that as you do manifest this new chapter, you have the strength to uphold that new chapter. You have the strength to fully set yourself free and have a breakthrough and have this whole break breakthrough moment, this opening, um, and this judgment card, you're literally releasing. The judgment card in regular tarot, it shows these people coming out of these like coffins, which you could see as the cocoons. Uh, and it's almost like they're naked, so they've just shed their old skin. So you're literally the caterpillar right now in the cocoon phase, maybe struggling to get out of the cocoon because you're just like, oh my God, when am I finally gonna be free of this? When is this finally gonna stop weighing on me? When am I gonna finally stop being closed off by all of these circumstances? And it's coming, you're, it's like literally, I feel like it's right around the corner for you but there's this message of just don't give up don't give up because what you're manifesting right now is so beautiful and it does take some time to get through there you're literally manifesting your wings you're manifesting your butterfly phase that's what you're manifesting right now so even though it seems hard right now oh my goodness is it ever worth it is it ever worth it oh like hmm. it's beautiful so if you need a confirmation that you are you are manifesting success here it is you are manifesting success and you're manifesting strength. Some of you might even be thinking about like, you know, uh, upping your workout game. Like when it comes to your fitness, some of you may have even been thinking of getting stronger, like legitimately. And that's a, um, that's a representation of also the energy that you're going through right now. So that might also be why you have that feeling of wanting to do that as well, because that's just another aspect of this whole situation that's going on in your life right now. 
And so if you are drawn to that, that's a perfect thing to be doing. That's a perfect thing to be working on because that also builds you physically stronger. You're energetically, mentally, and spiritually getting stronger right now, but you might also be drawn to like increasing your level of fitness um, and becoming physically stronger. And that's also just going to support everything else that you're doing here. So if you are drawn to that, yes, that's a great, great, great thing. I think that you are going to really see a lot of results soon in your life, but this is about not giving up. The nines, again, indicate that you are just completing an old chapter. You are at the end of it, okay? And the ending is always usually the most difficult, <laughs> right? As the butterfly is like so close to cracking open his cocoon, I'm sure it just, it feels like the hardest it's ever felt before, especially if he's been trying to get out for like three days. He's probably just like, please get me out of here. <laughs> um, but your breakthrough is about to happen and the 10 of swords indicates the completion of something. So even though it's a struggle, even though it's like, oh my God, that was a lot of weight to carry. That was a lot of stuff. Like it's, it's worth it because the fool is the new beginning. It's beautiful. The, the new phase that you are attracting and bringing into your life. So that is what we have there. Let's go ahead and dive into some more cards here. So let's take out this deck. Let's see. We also have the underworld, the cocoon that you're in right now. Also, another example that we could give here is minerals. When minerals are under pressure under the ground, they turn into diamonds, they turn into crystals, they turn into gems. Um, but that's when minerals are under so much pressure and so much heat, they mold and become gemstones. So that's, again, another metaphor for what you're going through right now. And even though it might seem, okay, one of the keys to manifestation, you need to hear this. One of the, one of the keys to manifestation is trusting and continuing to trust no matter what is happening. Because one of the signs that what you're manifesting is coming true is there's a lot of change in your life and there might be a lot of heat and a lot of pressure and a lot of struggle. That's like, again, the caterpillar turning into the butterfly. That's like crystals or minerals turning into crystals, into gems. It's the same cycle, like nature reveals to us its cycles all the time. If we just observe how nature transforms, the transformation that nature goes through, how you turn a mineral into a beautiful gemstone, how you turn a caterpillar into a butterfly, it's all the same story. And you're going through that story right now too, my love. You're going through that and it's like, it's beautiful because whatever it is that you're manifesting is really culminating right now. Okay, we also have nature. <laughs> if spirit wanted to confirm that they are using metaphorical nature examples to show you that you are just in the same cycle of nature that all nature goes through, you are not alone. All of nature goes through this. Caterpillars go through this. Minerals go through this. So many, so many things in life go through this and we're no exception. We're humans, we alchemize as well. We transform as well. So this is all just a reflection of nature. You're in one of nature's natural cycles and you are manifesting more strength. You're manifesting the new beginning and the release of that pressure. That pressure won't have to be on you anymore. Like for this crystal to be a crystal, it's not under pressure anymore, he's just chilling. So as you manifest this, you're just building a very solid foundation for yourself. You're building your wings and then you just get to use them and fly. Okay, so let's see, what else do we have for you? What else do we have for my group number ones? Take a risk. Now is the time to take your chance, climb the mountain, right? We have the mountain goat there. Take risk, it's time to climb your mountain, whatever it is that you wanna conquer, it's time to get to the top and it's time to focus on continuing to get to the top. Don't climb back down, don't give up. This is time to continue forward because you're on the mountain of your dreams. It's happening, but it's about continuing to take action and not giving up. There's so many famous stories about people quitting right when they're like just about to strike gold. So don't be one of those people, continue on because you're, you're, you are manifesting it. And if you've been doubting your manifestations and if you've been thinking like, wow, this isn't working, this is just going the opposite. It's like, no, it, it is working. This is just part of the process. We also have Pleiades, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. Wow, you are probably a Pleiadian. Do you even, I don't know, I'm just, 
asking arbitrarily, I guess, do you know what the Pleiades are? Because if not, Google search the Pleiades because it's like a type of like star seed type of soul. I know that sounds super woo woo, but then again, you're watching a tarot video, so maybe you're into the woo woo. Um, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. You are here to uplift other people. And that's probably one of your missions that you already feel called to. Like whatever career it is that you have, you probably have an inclination to like help others transform other people. And the Pleiades are very like soft, nurturing, kind people, but they they sometimes fall into people pleasing tendencies. The Pleiade, the Pleiadian star seed. Um, group of people and group of consciousness usually ends up being a bit more of people pleasers sometimes, but it's because they genuinely want to help other people and they usually have a mission connected to uplifting humanity and uplifting other people. So that's probably something that you have within you. But one of the things that sets the Pleiades free is when they focus on that big mission, but they also see how they also need to put themselves first in order to complete that mission. So that's a little side message right there. Let's dive into some more. We also have Akasha. So this is kind of like Akashic records. Your guidance is divinely guided. You are being divinely guided. So when it comes to the things that maybe you are wanting to achieve, and when you're asking you, the universe for guidance, like if you've been lately asking the universe, like, please help me, please guide me, give me a sign, you are being divinely guided. Trust that. Trust that the decisions you make and where you are has been divinely guided. You've been divinely guided here for a reason. You've been divinely guided into your cocoon, into the pressure so that you transform into the gem, into the butterfly. So you've been divinely guided this whole time. Trust that. Let's see what else we get for you. All right, we also have self-love. So taking time for, for you is also so important. You're manifesting right now more self-love. I feel like you're also manifesting like a vacation or time off because I feel like you've been doing a lot, uh, group one. I feel like whew, your energy reserves are running close to empty lately just because I feel like you, you've been putting so much energy into things lately and you've been you've been really pushing yourself to do your best and to get through and to overcome these obstacles. And I feel like right now, one of the things that you're also manifesting is time off, more relaxation and a vacation. I see it happening for you, 100%. I randomly heard 2000. What is that referring to? If some of you have been really wanting to manifest like a certain amount of money just so that you can go on a vacation, I'm hearing for some reason the word 2000 is coming into my head. Um, I really feel like that's coming. I really feel like that's happening. That's an odd message, I don't know. Okay, well, anywho, let's move on. Maybe some of you will understand what that message means. Maybe that means something to you in some way. We also have lunar waters, ooh, connected to the moon, into your intuition. Um, oh, you are getting a cleanse. You're manifesting a cleanse within your mind, body, soul, and your intuition. I feel like part of you has been wondering if your intuition has been working lately. There could be a lot of cloudiness going on just because of all the things that you've been doing and all of the busyness happening in your life. You're getting a cleanse. Your life is about to have a cleanse. And I'm hearing three months from now, there's gonna be a huge cleanse. That also might be connected to when you go on your vacation. There might be like, you might go to the ocean or to a lake or something and, and genuinely feel cleansed by the water there or something. Or maybe some of you are manifesting having a spa day or something or whatever the case may be. But what I'm hearing is that there's gonna be this space to have this huge cleanse. And I just see you taking this cleansing breath and just feeling like a weight has lifted off your shoulders. And I feel like your intuition's gonna come so strong again so strong to where you just feel so connected to it. It's been strong this whole time, but sometimes when we have a lot of clutter going on, it's hard for us to like fully trust our intuition sometimes or to fully feel that connection. Although it's been there, it's never disconnected. But with these lunar waters, I'm just feeling like your intuition is getting so much more powerful. You're gonna have that reconnection to where everything just feels in alignment again and you see your path ahead and you're like, okay, everything's working again. I understand things, things are clear. There's a clarity that's coming. And yeah, I just see a, 
like a vacation being manifested as well. So let's see our next cards here. These are like little oracle-y, affirmation-y type of cards. So let's see any last messages for my group ones about what you're manifesting. Let's see. I am a multidimensional, forceful being who is equipped to have and hold the entire universe inside me. Wow, that's a powerful message. My goodness. I am a multidimensional, forceful being who's equipped to have and hold the entire universe inside me. Wow. For some reason, that's making me think about creating something, like something that you're manifesting, but it's big. It's not just like an average, like, like, oh, I'm manifesting. It's not even just like, it's bigger than like a vacation. Like, like this is something that you're manifesting that you are... This could be a literal pregnancy for some of you. Okay, this is sounding kind of crazy, but this could be like a literal pregnancy. Some of you are maybe manifesting having a child, but this could also be manifesting your own business, for example. This is something where you're creating like a whole universe in you, a vision, but it's big, like such as a business or a child or something like that. So anyway, let's go ahead and see what else we get for you, my group ones. Okay, we also have trust is a muscle. Allow yourself to let go and know what is meant for you is coming. Ah, there's your card on trusting, trusting the universe. Trust is a muscle. Allow yourself to let go and know that what is meant for you is coming. The things that you feel drawn towards, like if you're drawn towards a certain career, if you're drawn towards a certain experience, it is because that is meant for you. We were not given desires so that we could just like be like laughed at or mocked for having these desires that we can't fulfill. You're given desires because you are capable of fulfilling them and your soul came here to experience those desires. So trust is a muscle, allow yourself to let go and know that it, what is meant for you, the things that you desire are coming. It's leading you somewhere. You're meant to go down that path, not to be mocked, but in order for your soul to continue its journey of the experience that it came here to have. So let's see, one more card for my group ones. Let's see. Let go of the anger, move into acceptance. Oh, that's a beautiful message to leave you off with, my love. Let go of the anger, move into acceptance. So when it comes to all the things that you're currently going through, dealing with, even if it's super hectic right now, move into the idea of acceptance. Because personally, like if I knew I was being transformed into a butterfly from a caterpillar and I had to go through that cocoon stage and had to go through a ton of pressure and a ton of difficulty to get out of the cocoon, I would choose that every time. I would choose it every time. So knowing that your manifestation is manifestation is on the other side of this struggle as long as you don't give up it's worth it but there's no point in struggling just to give up and then revert back to the old then there's no point so continuing through the hard times to make it to where you want to go that's worth it that is so worth it okay this is all here for a reason you're being divinely guided my love and yeah it's all part of nature. It's part of this journey of strengthening, of creating a new beginning, and then breaking out of the old. Like you're manifesting some new stuff and I'm excited for you to say the least. So my group number one, thank you so much for joining me here today for this reading. I am sending you all so much love and until next time, bye. Okay, so my group number two is if you chose this pile, this is gonna be your reading all about what you're currently manifesting. So let's hop right into it. Okay, my love, group number two, here's what we have for you. We have the three of wands being reversed, strength reversed, two of swords reversed, justice upright. Then we have the hierophant, the emperor, and the moon card upright. So this is really interesting. So let's dive in. It is so interesting that you're a group number two because something that's popping up for you here is this sort of image. Spirit's giving me an image that you are standing on a bridge right now and you can either choose to go back to what's familiar or you can choose to go into a new future. But this three of wands reversed here is almost like you've like started going in this new direction, but then part of you is like, wait, do I go back? 
Do I dive into this old thing? Do I text my ex back? Do I re reform that connection? Or do I go back to this old job? Or do I start going back? Do I revert back? Or do I move forward? And what you are manifesting is a new direction, but in order to continue manifesting that new direction, we need to continue walking forward. We need to continue moving towards that new thing that we're manifesting, okay? Uh, so that's why we have the three of, of wands being reversed. When she's upright, she's like, she has the whole world in front of her. She is walking forward. She's on this new journey. There's a whole bunch of new exciting things in her future, but it does take some, some strength to continue walking forward. It takes some trust and some strength within ourselves to step into the unknown and to trust the unknown. And when it comes to gaining clarity, I feel like maybe you've been asking a few different questions when it comes to, do I do this? Do I do that? Do I keep this old connection or do I completely sever it? Or do I go towards this new thing? You're on this bridge right now, but what it is that you're manifesting, I feel like you're manifesting tipping the scales to move into a new direction. So what I'm seeing for you, the Hierophant, you're manifesting how to have faith. You are manifesting how to have faith in yourself, how to have faith in the universe, how to have faith spiritually and how to believe. You are manifesting more trust in yourself and more trust in the universe right now. You are also manifesting how to step into the unknown and how to break through old fears that have held you back before. That's another huge thing that you're manifesting. The moon indicates that there is certain circumstances in our life that have a big question mark on them. And we might be wondering like, oh, how do I face that? Or what's on the other side of that fear? Can I do it? Am I capable? Will I manifest the thing that I want? Will this thing come true? What does it look like? You know, it's hard for us to see. And the two of swords being reversed too indicates that it might be hard for us to see right now. Maybe we don't have full clarity on what's ahead quite yet. However, the fact that the two of swords is reversed indicates that clarity is coming to you really soon. You are manifesting clarity. You are manifesting this. You're also manifesting more strength to be able to call the shots yourself from a conscious place rather than acting on old subconscious patterns and habits, right? So part of you might think about reverting to the old, like, like thinking like, oh, let me go back to that old habit. Let me go back to that old thing. Let me restart that old habit that I worked so hard to break free from. This is what I really feel for you actually. There's something that you're working really hard to break free from, but part of you also at times is like, should I just go back to that? Or like, it's easier because it's easier. It's easier to go towards what's familiar, right? But you are manifesting strength. You are manifesting faith in yourself. You are manifesting how to step into the unknown and how to accept the unknown and how to create something totally brand new for yourself. Totally new here. Okay. The emperor, you're manifesting a new life. The ankh that we have, the symbol of the ankh is new life. It's the giver of life. But this is sort of a birth of a new life and it's you sitting on the emperor's throne. You are becoming the emperor of your life, calling the shots rather than acting again on subconscious habits and patterns that we know are no longer serving us. There's something that is no longer serving you and you're on the bridge thinking, do I go back to that or do I move forward? But if we walk on that bridge and we move forward, we have to like, you know, sometimes break the bridge so that we don't go back to the old. Sometimes we have to break it so strongly so that we have no choice. We can't go back to the old things, especially if it was something that's truly not serving you. Um, like if it's a bad habit or a toxic relationship, sometimes we have to kind of break that bridge. And I know that there's a saying like that says, don't break any bridges or don't burn any bridges. But sometimes, when it's a bridge towards something that's like toxic, it's really healthy to break that bridge. <laughs> so sometimes breaking the bridge is helpful, but you're gonna know based on your own reflection of your own life. Again, this is a general reading, so I'm pointing out all the different options here. This might be a bridge that you do wanna keep open for some of you, but I think you're gonna know, listen to your gut, tap into your gut and ask your gut, hey, is this something that's toxic that I definitely, definitely should end because it's going to be a lack of respect for myself to keep that bridge open? Or is this something that I genuinely want to keep open? 
I feel like for most of you watching this, this is a bridge that you're gonna wanna shut down. <laughs> um, that's just a message that I have for most of you here. I also see you oh, discovering something so much deeper about yourself. You're manifesting a new deep wisdom. The fact that we have the moon and the hierophant and the emperor, you are manifesting deep wisdom. This is wisdom you're gonna take with you for your life. This is wisdom you'll, you'll, you're gonna be able to preach from here on out. This is wisdom that like you've been learning and you're gonna have it through experience and it's gonna be valuable, strong wisdom that creates a solid foundation for you moving forward, a solid foundation that you can build upon, you can build upon this wisdom to create something amazing in your life. And this moon card is also really sticking out to me. I feel like you're tapping into this ancient past life that you've had, this really ancient past life. I'm hearing that there's an ancient past life that you've had where you've learned so much and you're tapping into that. You're also tapping into deeper intuitive abilities I honestly feel like for those of you that chose this group, you are very intuitive and very empathic. Like you feel things from other people really easily. I feel like you're gonna be tapping more into that, but you're also gaining the strength to know what is yours and what's not yours. You're gaining the strength to, regardless if you're empathic for another person, you still know how to respect yourself and lay down boundaries and to uphold those without feeling bad about it. That's something that you're learning right now. You are learning how to be so strong, even though you're so empathic, which is a beautiful thing, but when you're empathic, you have to learn how to be strong. You have to learn how to uphold boundaries so that people don't walk all over you and disrespect you, because that happens to a lot of empathic people. When we don't learn how to set boundaries, don't know how to be, be strong, sometimes our empathy can cause us to stay in things that are not healthy because we feel for that other person. We feel the hurt and pain that's there. Therefore, we just wanna be there and fix it. But we can't do that because sometimes that's a disrespect to us. So sometimes we need to shut things down. <laughs> um, so with that being said, let's dive into some more cards here. Let's see, my group twos. What else are you manifesting? Honestly, I'm seeing you becoming so strong, like so strong. At times you question whether or not you're strong because you might be like, oh no, like I'm, I'm not strong enough to get through this. I'm not strong enough to continue on this path. I'm not strong enough to go in this new direction. You are, you 100% are my love. The fact that we have the emperor here, oh, he's so powerful. He's so powerful. You're manifesting strength. You are manifesting the clarity and you're manifesting justice. You're about to also, mm, karma. Karma is working in your favor right now. Karma is working in your favor. You are learning how to be strong with your boundaries, how to be strong with your truth, how to see truth, how to stand your ground. And the universe is telling you that it's balancing things out for you. But this is also about you honoring yourself. As you honor yourself, you're gonna rake in a lot of good karma your way because you've put so much out there. But we need to end that cycle in order to allow the universe to begin balancing out those scales. But I really see you um, attracting really good karma your way. And look, we have movement and it was reversed. So some of you may not wanna move forward right now. It might be hard for you to move forward, but you are manifesting movement. You are manifesting getting ahead. You're manifesting a new beginning. Look at the egg here with the snake. You're manifesting how to weave around this and how to have a new beginning. Let's see, what else do we have for you, my love? The warrior, the strength, the strength, my love. You have it within you. You're manifesting how to cut off things in your life that no longer serve you. There's another repeat of that message. I also see that you're manifesting like a new attitude towards life. How to go for what you want how to say what you want and how to continue moving forward to have breakthroughs. I think that you're no longer gonna have issues. Like you're not gonna run into the same issue anymore because right now you are learning 
the peak of all wisdom from this experience. And when you have that wisdom and when it's really integrated, you'll never run into the same thing anymore because you're gonna be able to see it from a mile away. Okay, and then we also have, oh, we have the magician coming up for you and we have the sovereign. Ooh, I love this. So the sovereign, you're not gonna be bound by this anymore. This is about you gaining your freedom back. That's massively what's happening here. You are gaining your freedom back. You are becoming your own ruler. And then the magician, you're in like a very creative space right now. So when it comes to creating something that you really wanted for a long time, you're manifesting like a whole new future across this other side of the bridge. You're manifesting a brand new future and you're manifesting how to move forward and how to break a habit. Like this warrior, he's not gonna let any habit get in his way that does not serve him. Like the, the sword there indicates that you're, you have the strength to cut ties to anything that you no longer wanna be attached to, anything that no longer serves you, any habits that we wanna fully just release and let go of. You're learning how to do that and you're building the strength to do that and you're gonna have the strength from here on out. Like I just see this really strong like ancestral version of you that's coming through and being like, let's, let's do this, let's do this. And you're learning how to really respect yourself and I think that you're gaining new values. There's a new value that you have and you're learning how to, again, trust yourself. You are stronger and wiser than you give yourself credit for. You already have all this wisdom within you, but this is about trusting yourself, right? And the magician here, like you have everything in front of you to create a beautiful reality, a beautiful reality, but it's about trusting that you can attract something beautiful in your future. And that crossing that bridge is gonna be beautiful because there's infinite possibilities on the other side of that bridge. There's infinite possibilities there but sometimes we just need to cross it. So let's go ahead and dive into some more cards here. Group two, let's see, what else are you currently manifesting? I feel like a lot of you, this is about love for a lot of you, maybe not all of you, but for a lot of you, this is about your love life. You're manifesting a beautiful new partner in the future. If you've been stuck on a, on a negative one, as you let go of it, you're creating in your future something that's very loving and very positive. If this deals with like a habit or a career or something that's toxic, you're manifesting new habits that really, really support you and are healthy and are strong, that strengthen you, habits that strengthen you rather than weaken you. That's something that you're manifesting. If you're trying to get rid of a habit, you're getting rid of habits that weaken you and moving towards habits that strengthen you. I feel like all of you are doing that actually. Literally all... Every single one of you watching it, watching this, that rings true. Spirit's like, yeah, that's true for everyone. Everyone watching this. Some of you, this is also dealing with a relationship. Some of you, this is also dealing with career. Okay, we also have dream gate. So what is it that would be your, your dream? What's your dream that you have? Because you're manifesting walking through that gate. Regeneration. Things that you feel like you've lost, parts of yourself that you feel like you've lost, you're going through this up level where you're going to, you're gonna regenerate stronger than ever. Parts of yourself that feel torn down or weak or hopeless, you're gonna be regenerating those parts of yourself and they're gonna be stronger than ever. Let's see what else we get for you, my love. This one really wants to come out. We have leap. You go first. The universe will catch you. You go first. Make that leap. The universe will catch you. What is the decision that you want to commit to? You have to go first. We have to take that leap. We have to dive right in. The universe will catch you. Wow. Where is it that you want to be? What do you want to create? You are manifesting something so new right now, okay? Taking the first step, we also have Akasha, which is the Akashic Records. Your guidance is divinely guided. You are being divinely guided, my love. And you've been feeling this, like you've been almost like being pushed in this new direction for a while. And you've been feeling that, trust the niggle. <laughs> What's the, what is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? So you know when we get that like, little instinct that just keeps coming up. 
those little thoughts that keep coming up in our head. What has that been telling you? Has it been telling you that it's time to move forward? Has it been telling you that it's time to move on? I feel like the universe has been sending you these signs of like, it's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. Yeah, you're being divinely guided in that direction, my love, because there's something meant for you on the other side. Your future is waiting for you. But we have to cut out the old habits, the old patterns, the toxic things that are holding us back. All right, so with that being said, let's dive into our last little cards here. So these are little oracle cards. Let's see what comes up. Okay, these three really wanted to come out. So let's see what we have here. We have, let's see if I can focus on that. I am love. I have love. I deserve love. Wow. So for those of you that this is regarding a relationship, I am love. I have love. I deserve love. I, I'm just gonna let that one speak for itself. I'm sure you all understand what that is trying to say. And if not, it's saying that there is love waiting for you. You are love embodied. You deserve love. Then we have my evolution is beautiful. The evolution that you're going through is beautiful. You are beautiful. There's so much beauty surrounding you. And then our last card, you can search the entire world. Let's focus on this. Uh, there we go. You can search the entire world to find someone to love, but there's no one more worthy of that love than yourself. All these are regarding love. I was feeling like a lot of like love things for my group twos. Okay. You can search the entire world to find someone to love, but there's no one more worthy of that love than yourself. So pay attention to who you give your love to, who is worth that love. For one, you're worth that love. You are more worthy than anyone else, but then who are the other people that might be worthy of that? And watch who you give your love to. There might be some people who might not be as deserving of it, okay? So, yeah. You're on this journey of manifesting so much more self-love, so much more respect, a brand new chapter where, honestly, I see that you're attracting a really beautiful relationship your way, but it's about crossing that bridge to get there taking that leap into this new direction, trusting, giving yourself time to regenerate, to take time for yourself. You are love, you have love, and you deserve love, okay? Group number two, you are manifesting the release of negative things, negative habits, negative people, and you are manifesting brand new things that support you and serve you and bring you higher in life. So, that is what we have here for you, my group number twos. Thank you so much for joining me here today for this reading and for this video. I'm sending you all so much love and until next time, bye. All right, my loves, group number three. If you chose this pile, this is gonna be a reading all about what you're currently manifesting. So let's hop right into it. Okay, group number three, wow, okay. We have some really good messages for you. So we have four of cups upright, the moon, the magician, and then we have ace of cups being reversed. Then we have the chariot, empress, and the high priestess. When it comes to what you are manifesting, some of you have been feeling quite drained when it comes to your energy, your vitality, your creativity, um, just feeling fulfilled and full in general. And one of the biggest things that you are manifesting right now is fulfillment, focusing on yourself, having time for yourself. Uh, you're also manifesting more time to just be and to just relax. Both of these cards right here are very feminine and this indicates that you're manifesting more of the feminine energy in your life, regardless if you're man or woman or anything, we all have a balance of masculine and feminine energy. And the vibe that I'm currently getting from this is that you have been doing a lot and you've almost felt like there's this um, pressure on you to continue to do, 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 be, 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 and um, complete, 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 take action, all that kind of stuff. And right now you're manifesting more time to just relax, to just be, and to fill your cup. Uh, the Empress card is very abundant. So there's this abundant energy that you're attracting and this time to just sit back, relax, and enjoy 
what it is that you've cultivated and created in your life. Uh, when it comes to where you are right now, what I'm seeing is that there may be some uncertainty when it comes to the next chapter in your life. Like maybe you're waiting on an opportunity, maybe, maybe you're waiting to hear back from something, or perhaps there's this energy where we feel like we don't know what we want next, or we don't know what that next opportunity looks like, or we're even trying to, we're trying to like make our current life feel put together and feel good. But right now it's kind of like, it's not fully feeling how we want it to. And there's certain things that have been a little bit either disappointing or there hasn't been like a full fulfillment from those things lately. And you're on the journey of manifesting more fulfillment from those things. The fact that we have the magician here coming up for you, you have everything you need to create the outcome you desire. That is what the magician says first and foremost. The magician is also indicating that you're entering this time where you're gonna start seeing your manifestations start happening almost all at once. And I feel like it's gonna be happening. One thing that I'm hearing is the number two and the number 12. So sometime between two months from now and 12 months from now again this is a general reading so a lot of the times i put more broad time frames out there uh just because it's more of a general reading but between two and 12 months from now there's going to be some big things manifesting and i'm seeing a new opportunity coming your way something that's like oh wow i haven't thought of that before that's a new idea this could be a new idea coming from yourself or a new opportunity coming from some other place from another person or from some other means, but you are manifesting some sort of new opportunity. It's gonna be something new and exciting to pursue. And there's gonna be a lot more movement. If you feel kind of stagnant right now, some of you feel stagnant right now, and it seems that even though you're racing to get all these things done and doing a lot, somehow things just aren't changing. They aren't moving forward. There's that sort of energy. It seems like we're still busy, still a lot happening, but nothing's really moving forward. That's changing. You are manifesting a new path to open up. You're building a new path ahead of you right now. And that's why we have the chariot coming up. Your inner magician has been working on opening up a new path, a new opportunity that's gonna be so exciting for you to, to pursue. And this new opportunity is gonna invite in more abundance. It's gonna allow you to feel really good. And I see that you're manifesting more time again to relax and to just be and to recuperate. I also see, for some reason, spirits wanting to point out a diet change. Some of you have been thinking about altering your diet or adjusting your diet in a certain way. For some of you, this could deal with like getting rid of gluten or getting rid of something that's been sort of upsetting your stomach or upsetting your digestive health, or you're thinking of incorporating something to to get more of a certain vitamin. That's what I'm hearing. Like spirit saying that either you are subtracting something from your diet that's been upsetting you or, or opening your diet, broadening your diet to have something else that gives you more of like a certain vitamin or something that you need. Whatever the case may be, spirit wants to point out that you are manifesting better health and it's coming through a shift in diet but this is something that you've been feeling for a while. You might be feeling like, oh, okay, I think I know what this is pointing at. So if that is a message for you, I feel like you're gonna, you're gonna already kind of hear what that means. So anyway, moving forward, the high priestess here as well. If there's something that you've been really wanting to work on in the background, but you haven't really spoken about it a lot, like perhaps there's like something that you really wanna pursue or do, but maybe you haven't taken full action on it yet, or maybe it's sort of just been in the background lately, that's also something that you are reopening and revisiting. And it's something that you're gonna be putting more energy and time into. That's gonna pay off really well for you. I think that that's gonna be something new and exciting that you're like, ooh, all right, let's do that. This could also stem from this new opportunity for some of you. There could be a new opportunity your way that you, you start doing something, like you start working on something, building something. But yeah, I just see a new opportunity coming your way. I'm sorry if that sounded confusing, <laughs> but there is a new opportunity coming your way that's gonna be really exciting. And I also feel like you're gonna be putting your time and energy towards something that you've been thinking about for a while, but maybe you just haven't fully acted on it yet. Now is going to be the time where you're gonna start acting on that and doing that. That's gonna start coming up into your life. So anyway, let's dive into our next deck of cards here. 
Group three, what else is my group threes manifesting? What else are my group threes manifesting? We have sacred sexuality. I think that you're manifesting how to tap into your creativity better because the sacred sexuality card, it doesn't always just speak about like sexuality directly. Sacred sexuality also talks about our creativity because this is the sacral chakra. And that one also, again, is about our creative juices, our creative flow. So if you've been feeling drained creatively lately, I think that you're learning how to balance your rejuvenation and how to balance how you work with your creativity so that it doesn't feel empty or run out. When it comes also to like certain pleasures in life, whether that be, you know, regarding your sacred sexuality or not, when it comes to certain pleasures, sometimes we overdo things to the point where we feel like a lack of energy or things just don't feel the same anymore. Like for example, if we're partying too often, then we go out and do it again. We're just like, okay, this isn't like feeling the same. Or if we listen to, you know, when we find a really good song, for example, that we're like, oh my God, that song is so good. But then we re we re-listen to it so much to the point where we're like, wow, I hate that song now. <laughs> So sometimes when it comes to our creativity, when it comes to the pleasures in life, sometimes we need to moderate those things so that we're not overdoing it and feeling empty and drained after. Uh, so sometimes we need a break from certain pleasures in life. Sometimes we need to take a little break from those things. Sometimes we need to take a break from forcing creativity as well um, so that we can replenish, right? It's just like, you know, your energy needs to replenish. Your mental strength needs to replenish your pleasure senses need to replenish every now and again for us to feel balanced so we also have speak truth coming up i think that you're going to be also manifesting to how to use your voice better how to communicate better how to be confident in speaking your truth and how to be authentic um, when it comes to being authentic with others, maybe some of you have a tendency to just people please, or you have a tendency to not say what it is that you really feel in order for people to just like you or in order to not raise conflict. I feel like sometimes you just, you say things that aren't authentic to you just because you know that's what someone else wants to hear, but it's You've been disregarding your own feelings when you do that. And sometimes that's a really hard place to be and it creates resentment. It creates resentment to those people, even though they did nothing wrong, but then it also creates resentment towards yourself because we're saying something that's not true to how we actually feel, right? We're dishonoring our emotions. So I think what you're also manifesting is how to speak your truth, how to stand up for yourself, how to say what it is you truly mean and what's truly on your mind without fearing what other people might think or say. We also have self-love, how to love yourself enough to where you feel like you can do these things and it feels right to do these things. Hmm. Also how to take up light, how to take up space and how to shine. I feel like part of you, you've been repressing yourself because you don't want to make other people feel uncomfortable. You've been repressing yourself because you maybe don't even want to be judged by other people. You don't want to put people in an uncomfortable position where they're like, oh my God, I don't like that. You shouldn't have to dim your light for anyone. There's this saying that the sun doesn't dim its light just because certain people are uncomfortable with how bright it is, like those people can put on sunglasses, those people can go back inside, you know, or get an umbrella to find some shade or whatever, you know, like you don't need to dim your light for anyone. The sun shines regardless. So this is about you shining regardless. So that's another little message there. Let's move on to our next deck of cards. Let's see, group three, what else do we have for my group threes? We have pillar of, huh? we were just talking about the sun and its energies and we have pillar of light. Your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. Wow, that's powerful. Your vibration is rising. You are manifesting an up level in your vibration, in your energy, you are manifesting how to shine your light, how to love yourself enough to where you shine your light and you shine your authentic authenticity and you speak your truth. Your vibration is rising and as you do that, your vibration is gonna rise because you're honoring your vibration 
and you're not suppressing it for other people. You're not feeling like you need to change your vibe to match everyone else's. You're like, no, I'm going to be my vibe. I'm going to be my vibe, right? So your vibration is rising. You are the Oracle. You're your own Oracle. You get to be your own pillar of light. And the people who resonate with that light, those are going to be the ones that stick around. The people that are like, wow, I love this sun, right? Rather than the people that are like, Ooh, that's too bright. You know, some people might even just put on their sunglasses and then it's fine right? <laughs> These are all, of course, I'm speaking metaphorically. So hopefully that still is like making sense. Um, we also have warrior woman. So if you weren't afraid, what would you do? If you weren't afraid to speak your truth, if you weren't afraid to be yourself, who would you be? Allow that version of you to shine, become that warrior woman. This is what you're manifesting. You're manifesting becoming that warrior woman, becoming your own brightest piece of sunlight so that you can shine your authenticity. And then look at, Look at this. I cannot even begin to describe how all of these cards are so perfectly playing into each other and speaking in accordance. And look at this card that we have next. No, wait, postpone, pause, say no. One other thing that you're manifesting is learning how to say no, learning how to wait, how to postpone, how to pause and how to say no. And no is a complete sentence. You don't need to over explain yourself to people. Like if somebody says, Hey, do you want to hang out on Thursday? And let's say you're like, wow, I really don't feel like it, but I don't really have an excuse. Oh my God. And so you wait a couple days to even like conjure up what to say. Cause you're like, I don't have an excuse, but I don't want to go and I'm not feeling it. All you need to do is say no. That's it. All you need to do is say, no, Hey, I can't. You don't need to come up with some elaborate excuse. You don't need to blah, 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 blah. You don't need to do that. Like no is a complete sentence. No, I can't. That's it. Like you don't need to go beyond that. Right. Um, and it comes across as more direct, which is really helpful rather than coming up with some answer. That's like, Oh, I don't think so. Cause blah, 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 blah. Cause then you're also not directly saying no. And then that person's probably going to be like, Oh, well, is that like a, maybe is that like a probably, you know, some people don't know how to read into that. So if you can just say like, Hey, no, I can't, that's it. That's all you need to do. And Sometimes we don't realize that it's that simple, but it is that simple. And I feel like that's one thing that you're manifesting is how to create more simplicity, more ease when it comes to honoring yourself, saying no and protecting your energy and honoring the way that you feel, honoring your vibration. That's a huge thing that you're manifesting here, group three. So let's dive into some more cards for you. We also, ah, I can't, <laughs> we have the sacred chalice. That's also the ace of cups. I can't, I can't right now. Okay. So the fact that we have the Ace of Cups, we also have the sacred chalice coming up. You are going to be so much more protective of your energy. You are manifesting the wisdom and the strength to be so much more protective of your energy to honor your fulfillment and know that your fulfillment comes first because you cannot give from an empty cup. You can't, it's impossible. So you are right now manifesting a full cup and you're manifesting the wisdom and the knowledge about how to keep that full. But also, Ooh, one thing that I'm hearing from spirit is that your cup is actually, you, you know how to fill up your cup. You do know how to fill up your cup. However, you don't know how to, how to keep it full. Keeping it full is learning how to say no and how to honor the vibration of that cup, how to honor that cup. So learning how to honor your energy and how to say no is what's going to keep that cup full. And it's not like we need to say no to everything and never, you know, share our energy. Of course, sharing our energy is one of the most beautiful aspects of this world, but we should only share our energy towards things that feel in alignment with us. Things that were like, yes, I want to share my energy in that way. Yes. I want to go to that event. Yes. I want to see this friend on this day, you know, all these different things, but it's also about honoring when you feel like saying no, because that's, what's going to keep your cup full. That's what's going to keep your cup full. You're manifesting how to keep a full cup. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay. Gorgeous. My group threes gorgeous. Let's see. What is our, other card here. We have convergence. Ooh, something is like culminating right now. You're about to come across something. There's about to be a big change. Actually, there's about to be a big change in your life. And I also think you're going to come across a new, really important friendship. 
or a new this is a new opportunity and a new friendship i feel like oh over the next nine months for some of you this may take place as soon as a, as like a couple weeks from now I feel like you're gonna know how close you are to this when I say this, like intuitively, I feel like you're just gonna kind of know whether or not it's like close or far, but you're about to come across a certain friendship and also a new opportunity in your life that is gonna be big. Like it's a big new door opening and it has the potential to be big. Like it might seem when you first think about it or when you first come across this person, it might just seem like a, like a, oh sure, yeah, like that sounds like a cool idea or ooh, that might happen. But I feel like as it grows, like this has the potential to be something big. This is a new opportunity coming into your life. I feel like you're gonna be meeting the right connections, meeting the right people that help things start culminating together. Yeah, some sort of big idea that you have or some sort of, new thing that's going to be manifesting in your life um there's going to be a new person that you're meeting and a new opportunity new person and new opportunity so let's see what else we get what are our last cards for my group threes we have i am always in the right place at the right time that is our first card here oh my goodness and then there's a bunch of other ones falling out right now i'm gonna pull those out okay there's a bunch that we have to get through but this is the first one. I am always in the right place at the right time. So trusting that divine timing is always at play. You are always at the right place at the right time. Even right now where you are right now, you're not behind my love. And if that's a confirmation that you needed, let me give that to you. You are not behind, okay? We also have the card of unconditional love. What, would you love them if they didn't love you anymore? Ooh, that's what unconditional love is. So what is it that... What is it that you genuinely love in your life? What are the things, the people that you genuinely love to the point that if you, for example, this could also be talking about career. Is there something that you're so passionate about that even if you didn't make money from it, you would still do it? Because that's when you know that you have the energy to go all out with that idea, with that business, for example. But again, that could also apply to relationships that's a bit more self-explanatory. So if you fall, will it all fall apart? Oh, wow. That's a deep message too. You're getting some deep messages here, group three. If you fall, will it all fall apart? That's really deep. So there's ways. So the answer to this is no, it won't, especially if you are strong enough to pick yourself back up again. If you fall, it's not gonna all fall apart. That's the answer. But this is only if you're strong enough to get back up again, which I know you are. It's just about believing in yourself. It's literally a belief. If you believe that you're not strong enough to get back up, you're probably not gonna get back up because if you don't believe you're strong enough, you're probably not gonna try. But if you believe you're strong enough and if you know you can do it no matter what happens and that you know you're determined and you know that you have that within you, if you just believe that, you're going to create that. That's the magician. That's the magician. Whatever he believes happens. That's the magician. Whatever he believes happens. Whatever you believe will happen. If you believe you're strong enough to be the warrior to do anything, then you are. It's going to happen. That's the interesting side of that. Okay. So anyway, Moving on to our next cards, we have the more you focus on the present moment, the more you align with your inner peace. Oh, I love that. The more you focus on the present moment, the more you align with your inner peace because power exists in the present moment. If you're thinking about the past, you're taking away your power from doing anything in the future to change it or in the present moment. We cannot change the past. So it doesn't really help us to overly focus on it, overly focus. It can help us to reflect and learn from the past, but when we stay in the past, we're not serving any, anyone nor ourselves. Like it doesn't help us, nor does overly focusing on the future help us. It helps in the sense that we can get an idea of what we want in the future because we can perceive of the future and we can think about, oh, what would be a nice future? But the power exists in the present moment. And when we're present, that's when we can learn how to make changes and adjust based on our reflection of the past and our desires for the future, that gives us power in the present moment to make change, to create a new future. 
So the more you focus on the present moment, the more you align with your inner peace because this also takes away worries. Sometimes we overly worry about the future but the thing is, is when we're constantly living in the worry of the future, we're not doing anything in the present moment necessarily to avoid that. We need to be present. That's where our power is. And that's where we can find peace because that's where we have control. Okay. I am sacred. That's your next card. I am sacred. I am sacred. You are sacred. Honor how you feel because you are sacred. You deserve to honor how you feel. You are a sacred being. Your feelings are right too. Okay. Then we have, how can you be grateful for a past experience that has shaped you? Oh, I love that we're ending on this one. That's powerful. Okay. How can you be grateful for a past experience that has shaped you? That's a beautiful last question. So how can you, how can you be grateful for a past experience that has shaped you? There might be something in the past that you're currently down on or that you currently think like, oh, I wish that didn't turn out like that. Or I wish my current circumstances weren't what they are. Like maybe there's some slight disappointment there, but how can you be grateful for that experience? Because how has it shaped you? It's probably shaped you in some way and is shaping you. So how can you be grateful for how it has shaped you? All right, my love. That is our last card to end off on. There's a lot of beautiful things happening for you, group number threes. You are learning how to keep your cup full. And from then on out, you're gonna naturally have a full cup because you're learning how to keep the boundaries of that cup safe. Anytime that we have a cup that's full and we dishonor the boundaries of that cup and we say yes to something that we don't want to, it's almost like we put a leak in that cup and then it's like, it starts draining our energy. And of course it drains really fast because we're putting our energy now towards something that we don't wanna do, which drains the energy that we have much faster because we literally put a leak in it. So you're learning how to honor the boundaries of your cup so that your cup stays full. You're learning how to shine your light truly and fully without feeling like you need to dim it for other people. You're also um, attracting a new person in your life right now. I feel like this is more of like a friendship connection or an important networking connection. Um, and you're attracting a new opportunity as well to you. And there's going to be something again in the near future that you're working on, that you're coming back to that you're like, oh, you know what? I think I might actually continue pursuing that idea. And that idea is going to be really fun and really exciting. So anyway, that is what we have for you. That was a little overview of my group number threes. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I am sending you all so much love. Thank you so much for joining me here. And until next time. Bye. All right, my loves, group number four is if you chose this pile, this is gonna be a reading. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. Okay, group four, you're about to go through a whole shift and change, like a revamp of yourself, your life, and who you are. There's a, there's a whole revamp happening here. We have the tower, the wheel of fortune, and the world. The world is a completion of a phase. And it's also showing that the world is at the palm of your hands. And there's a bunch of new opportunities coming your way. And the wheel of fortune indicates a massive shift or a massive change. There's even a huge airplane going by, making a lot of disruption, a lot of chaos <laughs> in this reading. Hopefully you can still hear me. Um, but yeah, the tower card, is the falling apart of like the old you, the old uh, life that you built for yourself. I feel like you're so ready for just a renewal and a revamp on your life, your schedule. I'm hearing that your routine and your schedule is gonna be slightly different. And also we have the four of swords being reversed with the nine of cups being reversed. There was something that maybe didn't work out as planned for you, but you're ready to get up and try again. You're manifesting success in this next one. I feel like you think a lot whenever something doesn't quite work out. Like you, you really review it in your mind a lot. You're really aware of your mistakes or your shortcomings or the actions, reactions, and outcomes that you get. You're really aware of them. And I think that you learn a lot from that. And what right now what you're manifesting is a new go at it like a you're manifesting success because you know the things that don't work for you anymore and you also know what it is that you want and what you don't want the nine of cups being reversed is kind of like you are revising what it is that you want and maybe your desires are changing things that maybe you used to desire maybe you're at a stage of your life where you're like i don't desire the same thing anymore and you're ready to have an up level 
you're ready for something new. This new thing might also come through a partnership of some kind, like perhaps Perhaps you don't want to do things on your own anymore. Perhaps you you want like a collaboration or someone to have the same vision as you, someone that's going to be on the same page. And I think that you're manifesting someone in your into your life that's going to almost like collaborate on this new journey or sort of be on the same page, like someone that you could bounce ideas off of or somebody that has the same goal as you, whether that be just like having a gym buddy that you get to go to the gym with or something that keeps you on track or something as big as starting a business and having a co-founder of that business or hiring an employee because maybe it's like too much of a workload for you to handle on your own. Or this could be something such as getting a loan from a third party place in order to start your business or something. But I really feel like, oh, and this, this could also be something like, uh, like maybe you're, having a business and maybe you need to outsource some things. Maybe you're like, I don't know how to design a website. Let me find someone who does. Or I need someone who is going to make a logo for me or do this or do that. Like, I really feel like you're outsourcing some certain things in your life because you know that it's going to be easier for you and your chances of success are going to be so much higher instead of doing everything on your own. I think you're learning the importance of Um, collaborations and friendships. Oh my God, my light almost just fell over. But yeah, you're learning the importance of collaborations, friendships, outsourcing, um, getting the help that you need. And in this next chapter, like what you're manifesting is that help. You are literally manifesting the right connections that are going to help you with whatever this vision is. And yeah, you're ready to break down your old system. You're like, okay, this old system doesn't work anymore. I'm so ready for a shift. I'm so ready for a change. And this wheel of fortune is bringing new success for you. It's almost like the wheel of fortune can indicate that we've gotten to this place where things have slowed down a bit. And in order for them to keep going up, in order for them to keep rising, we need to make some changes. And you're so aware of that. You're just like right there. You're ready to make those changes. And it's almost like she's holding this little star in her hand on the upward spiral, like if this is spinning clockwise, she's right here putting the star, putting her intention on this upward spiral. You want a vision to rise up. You are ready to rise up yourself. You are ready to up level. I also feel like this is a personal up level. You're going through a personal up level where you are ready for more. You're some of you, I, like, I always get this for at least one of the groups in these readings. Like, and I feel like it's your group this time. You are into personal development right now. You might even be reading like personal development books of how to improve your life, how to improve your business, how to do this, how to do that. Like you might be reading stuff like that right now or watching videos online about stuff like that. But I think you're on this self-improvement sort of loop right now and it's going to serve you really well. And I feel like what you're manifesting is so much growth because of that. Like you are manifesting so much personal growth that you might not even see right now. You might even be thinking like, am I even absorbing all of this information? Is this even sticking? Well, it is because what I see that you're manifesting is that you're going to be making life changes because of this and your life is going to improve and change. In this world card as well, you're closing out an old chapter and you're opening up a much bigger one. You're ready for something much bigger. Ooh, goosebumps. I got goosebumps, okay? So this is very exciting. Let's go ahead and see what else we get for you. Group four, connect to heart. And we have the universe. Wait, I have to put this on this side because this card is so similar to our world card. Right now, you are shifting your universe. You are shifting your world. And I think that you realize that the power is within you to create the life that you want. You have the power within you to call the shots, to pull the strings. Ooh, pulling the strings. What's that saying from when we pull the strings? I don't know. I just feel like you are, you're able to make things happen right now. You're manifesting the ability to really make things happen. And it's coming through finding partnerships that are going to really help boost you up so that you can delegate some of the tasks. It's still like you're holding the vision of this thing, but delegating these tasks is helping you bring all these things to completion and make the vision happen. Make the vision happen. 
okay? And sometimes that requires getting the help of others, which is what I am seeing for you here. I also feel like pulling out another card from this deck. This is the one. Okay, we also have the wildling. Some of you might go through some personal changes as well. Like you might be inspired to change your hair, to change your style, to have a glow up. There's a glow up. Some of you might even be working on like a new skincare routine to get your skin feeling its best, get your hair feeling its best. I see that you're doing something that's gonna improve your glow and you're gonna feel more confident. It's almost like you're creating a new you. Like you're genuinely creating a new you and changing your style, changing something about you to reflect these inner changes that you've made and these, this new chapter that you're opening for yourself. Let's see our next deck of cards here. Group four, what else do we have for my beautiful group fours? We also have Anna, grandma, grandmother of Jesus, seeding the light, laying foundations, divine plan laying foundations, divine plan. I mean, that, that one makes so much sense. You are seeding the light. So you're, you're planting new seeds. You're laying foundations for this new chapter and you're creating this divine plan. I feel like you have a plan and you're really manifesting the success of that plan. I think that you're determined and I think you have all the energy. We also have this card, trust the niggle. What is the niggle feeling trying to tell you? So I feel like you've been having these little impulses. These are kind of like the, the little intuitive nudges that we get. I feel like you've been getting these nudges that are saying like, like, oh, move in this direction, make this change, do this thing. What is that trying to tell you? Where are you being called right now? Where are you being guided? We also have answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? You're definitely being called in a direction, my love. What is your soul calling you to do? I feel like you feel this on a deep level. This is really exciting. I feel like there's a really exciting energy for you that you're manifesting right now. Oh, I see you saying this exact thing. Two to three years from now, you're gonna be saying this. You're gonna be saying, wow, I would have never guessed that I could come this far. Two to three years from now, you are going to be saying that, my love. For some of you, it might even be as soon as a year from now, but I feel like it's still gonna grow. Like even though a year from now, you're still gonna be at a place where you're like, wow, this is, this is really something. Two to three years from now, I think it's gonna grow even more. And I literally hear you saying, wow, I never thought I could come this far. Like in a proud way, you're proud of yourself. You're like in amazement of what you've done. Oh, and then we have this card. Yes, just say yes. There's your sign, my love. Just say yes. I keep hearing you saying that, like, wow, I never thought I could come this far. Yeah, I see, this is something that's gonna keep growing. I feel like you're really determined to do something right now. And it's a real good plan that you got going on. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what this is. Okay, let's go ahead into, okay. Well, that was easy. We got cards right off the bat. We have nurture yourself, nurturing yourself along the way. I think you're also manifesting more balance in your life when it comes to your work and with nurturing yourself. I feel like you're manifesting more balance in that area. You are also manifesting protection and inner strength. Protection and inner strength. I feel like you're learning how to protect yourself boundary-wise, like creating proper boundaries in your life. Um, and then inner strength. You are manifesting the power to achieve. You have that power and you're manifesting more of that so that you can really see that power that you have. And you're manifesting like, like keeping this all secure, keeping this all together, protecting this vision, protecting this manifestation so that it can come true and it's not getting interfered with or all of that. I feel like you are being divinely protected when it comes to what it is that you're manifesting and it's going to be beautiful. So that is what we have there. Let's go ahead and dive into our last few cards. This reading went by a lot quicker than the other ones. So I apologize, but at the same time, there's tons of information in this one, tons of stuff happening. If you were in a stage before where a lot of it was like 
thinking, a lot of it was reflection, a lot of it was rest, and maybe you're even overthinking. If some of you went through an overthinking stage where you're like, why is this happening? Why did this fail? Why did this happen? Why is this changing in my life? Ah, like if you went through an overthinking about something that was failing or something that wasn't working out the way you wanted it to, and you're overthinking about it, that is ending. You won't have to overthink that anymore because you're just, like the reason why it happened, if some of you need a reason, because Spirit's like, okay, yeah, you can speak about the reason is because something was meant to change about that thing. There was something that wasn't quite in alignment with it anymore and you needed to grow. You needed to, um, this was a catalyst, like this whole situation of overthinking and things not turning out right was a catalyst for you to go in this new direction where you step up to being an absolute leader and delegating tasks. This was leading you to this whole self-development, self-improvement situation that you're in right now. And it's leading you to expanding even more. You almost like reached this point where something needed to shift in order for you to become a leader, in order for you to also see the importance in delegating tasks, the importance of making new connections. This led you to learning more to where you're gonna meet these connections. Like this, there was a reason behind all of this and you're going to be so happy that this happened because it's leading you to a new place. Anyway, hopefully that's making sense. The next two cards, last two cards, I should say, well, we might actually pull some more of these, but let's see. So if not now, then when? That's the first card. So if you've been thinking a lot about timing lately and wondering like, when is the right time? When should I make these connections? When should I delegate these tasks? When should I become the leader? When should I take action? If not now, then when? Now is always the right time. We can start moving now. And if we start now, we're gonna be so much more ahead because we learn as we go, but we don't learn through inaction. We do not learn through inaction. We learn through action. So for example, if you've been debating for so long about when's the right time to start a YouTube channel, now is the right time because it's inevitable that when you start something new, the first few times are probably not gonna be quite right. Like the first few video videos you ever film are probably not gonna be that great. And that's okay, that's normal, that's totally normal. But you only learn as you do. That's when you get better. So if not now, then when? If you put it off for another year and you start another year from now, you're gonna be no better off than if you just start right now. So start right now. So if not now, then when? When is gonna be the right time? If not now, then when? So might as well start now. Okay, then we also have this, bend but do not break. We can bend around circumstances and if challenges happen that require us to be more flexible, we can gain flexibility, but don't let those challenges, those turns break you. Bend, but do not break, okay? Bend around things, but do not break. And I'm also hearing that this deals with when it comes to your time and knowing how much time you should spend on working and doing versus how much time you should spend on relaxation. We can make adjustments and we can be flexible with our time. We can be like, okay, this might be a night where maybe I'm working extra, or this might be a day where I really need to take today off. We can make adjustments and we can bend, but don't push yourself to the, to the point of breaking, okay? It's important to take time off. It's important to sometimes push yourself depending on the deadlines, depending on what's happening. And so creating flexibility for that in your schedule is really important. I, I'm hearing that a lot of you are working on time management and how to better manage your time. Um, and if so, there's a book I highly recommend. There's a book called Time Magic. It's by Melissa and Nick. I don't remember their last names, but I'm sure if you just Google Time Magic, it'll come up to Google Time Magic book. And it's by like Melissa and Nick something rather. And that book is so, so powerful when it comes to learning how to better manage your time in a way that works for you. Uh, and it has all these like tricks and time management skills that are just uh, really good. So highly recommend it if that's something that you're looking into. Okay. Anyway, next card we have, this will all feel kind of terrible until it doesn't. <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh my God. This will all feel kind of terrible until it doesn't. So sometimes when we're first getting started on something, there could be a lot of anxiety, there could be a lot of fears that come up and it'll feel kind of terrible until it doesn't because 
after a while we get used to it and we're like, you know what? Filming videos isn't so bad and I was so worried about it before, but now I kind of have it down. It's easy and now I can just do it and I can turn on a camera and I can talk and da 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 da. Beforehand, when I first started YouTube, by the way, which was like so long ago, my first videos, which are totally not on YouTube anymore, were really bad. I did not know how to speak in front of a camera. It looked like, it seemed like I had a camera voice rather than just using my authentic voice that I would use around anyone else. Like, you know, it's, it's unnatural and it'll all feel kind of terrible until it doesn't. There's always growing pains. There's always growing pains. So just know that if not now, then when? We might as well go through it now because then at least a year from now, we're probably gonna be really good rather than waiting another year to just get started. So, ooh, and then look at this. The, our last card that we have here is the journey is the process. The journey is the process. So doing is where we learn. The journey is the process to get there. So that is our last message to end us off for today. My beautiful loves, my beautiful group number fours. It looks like you are manifesting some really amazing, beautiful things, some beautiful things, but the sooner you get started, the sooner that all of these good things are gonna start happening. It's up to you to get started. And I feel like you've been thinking about that already. It's like, you're, you're right there and just do it. Don't back out, don't second guess it. Just dive right in. Okay, my loves, so that is what we have for you. My group number four is I'm sending you all so much love. Thank you so much for joining me here today for this reading and until next time. Bye. Okay, so my group number fives, if you chose this pile, this is gonna be a reading all about what you're currently manifesting. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. Okay, so group number five, here's what we have for you. We have the magician, the star, and the hermit. So let me just say right here, these three cards, uber powerful. Also, these cards, which kind of, these cards up here are sort of representing where you are right now and what you're manifesting. So for where you are right now, we have the 10 of wands being reversed. We have the seven of pentacles being reversed, the knight of swords being reversed, and then the five of wands being reversed. So we're surrounded by two or upright, this one's upright. We're surrounded by two wand cards here. And what I'm sort of getting from this is that there's something in your life that's a bit overwhelming right now. And you're just like, ah, I don't wanna do that anymore. I don't wanna put my energy towards that anymore. You're wanting a bit of a release. You're wanting to let certain responsibilities go. You're wanting to let certain things, you know, you're wanting to free up your time, free up your schedule. And certain things just seem like they're not, you're, you're not gaining from them what you're putting into them. Like you're not gaining as much as what you're putting in. It's not worth the effort. There's certain things in your life that you're like, that's not really worth the effort anymore. Um, some of you, I'm feeling that you want a career change or, or, or changing your direction a little bit. And it's sort of like an inner decision that you're kind of going through and making. And some of you really are called right now to take some time for yourself, to take some time and be a little bit more alone, to find your own voice, to find your own inner guidance. And so one of the things that you're manifesting right now is spending a little bit more time alone. So don't worry if that happens. Don't worry if that comes up. If there's just certain things in life or certain circumstances where it's like, wow, I'm spending a lot more time alone than what I normally do, because this is actually gonna be the moment where you're gonna discover so much more about yourself and you're gonna go through a, a spiritual awakening, let me tell you right now, like group five. Even if you've already gone through a spiritual awakening before, there's another one happening, but it's going to be beautiful because what it's leading you to is your inner power. It's leading you to finding your voice, more of your independence and more of your freedom I feel like you're really gonna let certain things go. I feel like some of you are also called to minimalize your life, to get rid of things that are like, oh, that's too much. Maybe you have certain bills that you're paying for right now. Like maybe you're paying for like an apartment that's like way too much money. Or maybe you're paying for other things that you're just like, why am I spending my money on all these places? I feel like you're going to be more minimal when it comes to your belongings. Maybe you're even gonna sell certain things, get rid of certain things, but I just feel like you're really wanting to minimalize your life and minimalize the stresses and minimalize the responsibilities so that you just have more free time to be and to relax and get like a breath of fresh air. And that's one of the things that I see that you're manifesting. Also, the star is very magical, by the way, especially also the magician. Like. The magician and the star are both extremely magical. Even the hermit is magical in his own way, but I think that you're gonna be doing a lot of self-exploration and you're manifesting the time to do self-exploration. 
I feel like you want more purpose in life. You're wanting to find more divine purpose and you're manifesting finding more divine purpose. And I see that over the next nine months, oh, sorry, my computer just made a sound, but over the next nine months, you are going to be manifesting more purpose. You're going to see more of what that purpose looks like. And I feel like you, you feel like you're meant for something bigger than what it is that you're currently doing. So part of you wants to minimize your life and get rid of certain things because it feels like it's taking up too much of your time and energy to sustain certain things that aren't really giving you the amount of purpose that you desire or the right feelings. So I see that you're minimalizing, but this is beautiful and divine because you are actually subconsciously without even knowing it, you're actually making room for more purpose. And maybe that's intentional for you. Maybe you already know that on a conscious level, but even if you don't, you're actually being called to make room for discovering more of your purpose. There's more freedom in this purpose. It's not bound and restricted um, like you have been currently. Your purpose allows for more freedom. Your purpose is bigger. And I feel like you've been feeling that. I feel like you feel that on an internal level that you're meant for something more than what it is that you're currently doing. There's some, like, you just feel like you should be reaching more people, having a bigger impact and you, you, you are, you're meant to be doing that. So yeah, again, you're, you're going to be finding that you're manifesting, discovering more of that. You are manifesting that. I think that this is going to involve learning something new. I, I think that this is going to involve maybe like getting a certification of some kind, or this might involve learning a bunch of stuff, maybe even on your own. But for some of you, I'm really hearing the word certification, like being a certified health coach or being a certified wellness person or being a certified PT or something like, I don't know. There's something here though that is like getting certified of some kind. And this is gonna really help you sort out your life to feel more in alignment. There are certain things that you're like, that just feels awkward. It's, it's awkward to sort out your time lately. It's awkward to find space. It's awkward to, to be handling and juggling all these different things. And so yeah, you're going to be minimalizing. You're going to be getting rid of a lot of things. It is going to be a breath of fresh air. So let's go ahead and put some more cards on this pile. So let's see, group five. We also have reflect. Uh, a lot of you have been doing a lot of inner reflection. The hermit also talks about inner reflection, and this is going to really help, help you see and gain clarity on what's currently happening in your life. Um, we have the death card, which deals with change. We have the void, which is something that you might be feeling lately. Like maybe you just feel like there's some sort of, um, voidance, like something that's missing in your life, like a purpose that's missing, or it's just not hitting the same way as you thought that it would. You're about to go through a, a big change and you're going to be really getting rid of things in your, in your life, even habits or even a lifestyle that just no longer feels in alignment for you. I feel like spirit has been really saying to catch up on your sleep, take some time for you and take time to be alone because sometimes when we're surrounded by other people and we're asking other people, Ooh, there's a message here. Some of you might be going around asking your friends for advice and saying like, what do you think about this idea? What do you think about that idea? What should I do about this? What should I do about that? I feel like everyone has a slightly different opinion and it might be confusing you even more. And I really feel like if you take time to be alone and just reflect on the subject on your own through your own thoughts and opinions and sort out your own emotions rather than what everyone else thinks might be best, you're going to gain so much more clarity on this subject than you even realize. Like this is going to really help you gain the clarity that you've been seeking and it'll help you make those changes. So that's why I think the hermit came up for you as something that you're manifesting because inevitably I feel like when we're alone with our own inner voice, it really helps us see what that inner voice is actually saying. But sometimes when we're surrounded by a bunch of other opinions, it can sometimes be too loud and too chaotic for us to hear that inner voice. Sorry, I just had to take a sip of tea there. So let's dive into some more cards. Let's see what else we get for you. My group fives. What else are my group fives manifesting? I feel like you're manifesting more money. I feel like you have spent a lot of your life working really hard to get money. You don't have to work that hard. Of course, we do have to like 
we, we only get paid for the value that we put out, right? So I think you're going to be discovering more of your purpose and more of how you can provide beautiful value, but get compensated fairly for that. I feel like you've been overworking without getting as much out of it as, as you deserve. And I feel like it's time for a shift because of that. We also have the card of protection, call back your power. So also saying no to certain things, cutting certain things off that are stealing your energy, stealing your power. So protection, call back your power, cut the cords, soul retrieval. Oh, it's time for you to just call back your energy. If there's certain things that are draining your energy and they're not worth the effort you put into them, it's time to cut those things off because it's just draining our energy, right? So. That's one thing that we have there. Let's see, we also have play. So have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious. Aw, making time for you too. Like, like rather than, like how can you celebrate you? How can you celebrate how much you've done so far, how much you've already learned? How can you make time to, to also have fun, even though life might feel overwhelming right now, and although there could be certain things in life that are just like, whoa, that's a lot. Instead of taking every moment to think about that, to reflect about that. How can you also invite in more play? I think you're also manifesting how to have more fun. And even though this next chapter might be more alone for you, there's still so many ways to have fun, even on our own, right? I'm not saying you're gonna be completely alone. You're not gonna be completely hermit or completely recluse. There's of course still gonna be people that you're surrounded by, but taking time for you and having days where you have time alone to just be with you and do your inner work, that's gonna be so helpful. Um, but regardless, we do need to also balance that with having fun to celebrate and to also look at all the things in life, but see the joy within it, see the joy within the change, see the joy within the discovery of yourself, your purpose and all those beautiful things. Cause that deserves to be celebrated. That deserves to be fun to find our way, to find our purpose and all of that jazz. So. Let's dive into some more cards here. Let's see, my group fives, what else do we get for you? We also have Akashic Waters, the wisdom that you've been seeking. If you've been seeking clarity and if you've almost been, okay, mm, for some of you, I really feel like you've been praying for a higher source such as your guides or God or your angels to come through and protect you and to guide you You've been asking for guidance from a higher power and you've been like, okay, dear God, like how do I get through this? What is my next step? What am I supposed to do? I feel like some of you have been putting out that prayer and one thing I have to tell you is that that prayer has been heard and you are manifesting the way. So trust, put your utmost faith and trust that that prayer has been heard and you are being guided. Even if it still seems unclear right now, like the changes that are happening aren't gonna provide like the perfectly clear image like tomorrow, but what I can tell you is that your prayer has been heard and you are now on, the, on that path where things are being revealed and just trust that you're on the right path. You are on the right path, okay? So that is one thing that's coming through with that card, the Akashic Waters. Spirit is here giving you the wisdom and they're telling you that they're here giving you everything that you need to know when you need to know it and all of that is all good. So. Your guides have up, utmost faith and trust in you. Let's see what else we get here. We also have heart libations. I also thought that said liberations. That's libations, heart libations. Let's get one more card here too. Ooh, earth waters as well. Ooh, creating foundation. Okay, so between these two cards, heart libations and earth waters. Libations is kind of like a drink, but drinking from the heart. So I feel like this is talking about listening to your heart, tapping into your heart, allowing your heart to speak. What does your heart really want? What does it really, really want? What calls your heart? Because that's gonna be in alignment with more of your purpose. And earth waters, I feel like you're also exploring how to create a more solid foundation, but something that's reliable and something that's going to last. I feel like you're also really tired of doing things that don't last. Doing things that are kind of like, 
only temporary. You're tired of that. I feel like you want a permanent spot. So when it comes to like your living, living situation, I feel like some of you, maybe you move around a lot and you're tired of that and you just want something permanent, something that you know and feel comfortable with and, and you feel is a solid foundation for you. Somewhere where you feel like that feels right. It just feels right. I feel like you're calling in those things that are reliable and solid to where you don't have to have all of this unreliability all the time. And you are creating that. That is something that you are so deeply manifesting right now. You are manifesting more stability. You're manifesting more reassurance and more security in your life where you're like, okay, I got that right foundation. It's the earth energy. That's the energy of earth. It's your foundation. So you're calling that in. You're calling in more uh, security, more stability, and a deeper, stronger foundation. So with that being said, let's dive into our last card. These are our Oracle cards and let's see what we get for you. Those came out really fast. So let's see what there is. I feel like we need to do that one first. So let's see. This says it's okay to fail. Stand up and try again. Oh, that's so powerful. Just because something here in the past, like didn't quite work out and maybe it wasn't what you thought. That's okay. Stand up, try again, or shift whatever it was that doesn't feel in alignment anymore. Shift that. It's okay to fail because it shows us more where we're supposed to be and what works and what doesn't. You're getting closer to your goal. Every time you fail, you get closer to your goal as long as you just don't give up. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your ultimate dream. So our next card that we have is this one right here. It says, regain what they took from you. You can regain that. Call back your power. It's time to regain what they took from you. And you have the power to regain anything. Anything that you feel was stolen or lost, you can regain. If there's money that feels it's stolen or lost, you can regain it. It can be regain, regained. Um, if there is emotions or purpose or an opportunity that you feel like you lost, you can always regain it. There's always potential. If there's a will, there's a way. Okay, then we have this card. This one says, don't let life be a collection of missed opportunities. That is so powerful. Why is this not focusing on this? There we go. Okay, don't let life be a collection of missed opportunities. If there is an opportunity that's calling to you, take it. If it feels right, try it out. Don't let the fear of taking action or the fear of the unknown stop you from doing something that you are so called to do. We also have take a breath, try again. Wow, all of these cards are so in alignment with like your particular message, which is crazy. All the cards have been doing that today. It's like so in alignment. Um, so take a breath, try again. These are all about trying again and not giving up. All of these are about trying again and not giving up. Don't give up on yourself. Every time you fail, you get closer. Take a breath, try again. And let me tell you, based on what we got for you, we have the magician, the star, and the hermit. You have what it takes to make your dream happen. You do. The star talks about do not give up hope. The star card is about hope. You're manifesting how to have hope and faith in yourself again, and you're manifesting how to be the magician of your reality, how to continue creating and manifesting your vision. And the magician is the manifester. You are manifesting your desire and the means to make it happen. Okay, then we have, what are some actions you can take to move this stagnant energy? Wow, that one fits in so well with you too. Look at that. Let's read that one more time. You are, so what are some actions you can take to move this stagnant energy? So instead of having stagnant energy that keeps you stuck or bogged down, what are some actions you can take to move that stagnant energy, to move it forward? If you have a dream or an idea that you really wanna work on, what are some actions you can take to start moving that forward, to start moving that vision forward? So that is what we have here, my loves, group number five. What a beautiful reading. You have so many changes going on. You're about to find more about what your purpose is, more about who you're meant to be, what you're meant to do, to build that strong foundation so that things aren't just like all chaotic all the time and always changing and being unpredictable. I feel like there's been some unpredictability in your life for the past like five years-ish, maybe. 
but there's been like all these changes that just come up where this changes or that goes out of, out of our control and that happens and that happens and all these changes and fluctuations. One minute we're doing amazing and then one minute it's like, oh, that didn't work out the way I thought it did. I feel like you've been going through all these fluctuations and you are manifesting stability. You are manifesting the end to all that chaotic fluctuating energy. And I feel like you're really creating a new solid foundation for yourself and it's going to be beautiful. You're manifesting more ability to play and have fun while also having that solid foundation that protects you and keeps you stable to where you feel like you can live from the heart and that your heart is connected to what it is that you're doing. So all those beautiful things. Ah, I love it. So that is what we have for you, my group number fives. Thank you so much for joining me here today and I'm sending you all so much love and until next time, bye.